all right guys welcome back to the channel tuesday april 19th we are gonna take you along while i do some chores uh the shed is out of hay so i don't know why i'm yelling because i'm angry so i gotta take the pickup truck up to the barn here to the big hay barn because we still have hay available here and we are gonna load 12 bales and then we're gonna feed six here for the young stock so come along for the ride So we're coming down the alley here from the big barn and the only hay that's left in the shed is second crop. We've got a few bales of grassy and a few bales of uh, second crop alfalfa and uh, I like to throw a couple bales, two bales in on the 10. I, I feed a 12 usually a day. So we're going to grab two of those bales, throw them on here, and then we'll make our way to the fence and we'll shut the power off here while we're at the shed so we don't get electrocuted. difficult with one hand but we're gonna try it see how that goes maybe you can't even hear me the wind is terrible yet again the yards are pretty sloppy pretty wet pretty loaded with uh I'm gonna use my second hand here here we go all right first bales in the cows will start start gathering around uh, once the bull sticks his head in there uh, if the bale isn't close enough to the edge he just pushes the round bale feeder wherever he wants to, isn't that right, Albert? All right, I've got 12 square bales in this feeder. Uh, put a second crop grassy and a second crop pure alfalfa on top and uh, I just hope that when they shake up the hay that some of that chaff falls down through it's not that the uh, first crop is is bad hay but anybody that's fed uh, fed the two different types knows that the cows will definitely prefer second crop over first crop so she's ready to calf she's close Flicka. her bag is is full her teats are not strutting. She's getting, starting to show in the back. She's getting close. Her due date is the 24th. We're sitting here at the uh, the 19th of April. Uh, that's why I did a couple of those Purina mineral tubs. And uh, like I said, I want to put out a little bit better hay. Too much alfalfa and you'll make a large calf and it'll be too, uh, too difficult for her to, to push it out, so. We're still just sticking to the first crop. We've got plenty of hay. And I say that with a, with a reserve. Um, I hope we have plenty of hay. It's April 19th. We're still getting snow 
and struggling to get out of the 40s. Pastures aren't growing. Uh, it's not like in 10 days, magically, they're going to be out on pasture and uh, the hay feeding is over. At 12 bales a day here and 6 to 8 bales on the other side for the, uh, for the calves and mini and, and whatnot, the sheep, the miniature horse, we're, we're banging through 20-some bales a day easily. And uh, the pile that once looked very impressive is dwindling. So we got our fingers crossed. Where's my gloves? Yeah, my glove blew right to the shit. Whatever. Whatever. We can handle that. All right, guys, we're going to put the gloves in here. We're going to duck into the truck. Oh. oh, windy. I'm sweating. Let's uh, let's shrink this bad boy up. All right. So now that these cows are fed, I got to make sure and put the uh, got to put the power back on on this side, and then we're going to go and add some bales to Troublemaker over there. And since there isn't much going on and hasn't been, you know, I watch Vizer's channel, which I'm sure most of you that follow this channel watch Vizer Cattle Company. And if you don't, you're uh, you're missing out on a good channel. Ben is, uh, he's been out spreading fertilizer already and I'm getting anxious. This year is uh, planned on being a good uh, fertilizer year. And as you all know, prices are terrible and uh, make a guy think about just skipping it out, skipping out on it, but uh, we're not going to do that. Um, so we bought a piece of equipment that's, that should change some of these. Uh, it should change our the way we feed and how we feed. I've got plans this summer, guys. I don't usually talk about the plans um because plans change and then i don't want to look like i lied to you um but we've got plans we've got a lot of a lot of projects this year to change the way we're doing things around here so as far as the uh uh we, we might as well just head back up to the we're gonna head back up with the truck i don't need the truck to uh feed but since i'm since it's so windy, we'll make some of this video in the truck. Anyways, guys, the, the piece of equipment that I purchased, it's here. It's in the shed. I haven't showed it to you yet, but I plan to. Um, I'm going to tease you a little bit. I'm sure many of you will figure out what we bought. Um, it's going to make our lives a lot easier, I hope. I'm going to park the truck here and we'll get out. And uh, we'll finish our feeding, but I'm going to finish the video in here because... Uh, the video is going to get too long, but yeah, guys, I hope to be out fertilizing uh, hay ground, pasture ground. Our fields are a little bit too soft, too low. There's standing water in some of these spots, and uh, I'd rather just wait until we've got some dry down. That has not happened yet. Um, the firm mornings aren't firm enough to get in there, but we're going to put some fertilizer down this year. And, uh, and I'll take you with when I do. All right, guys, that's it for the video today. I'm back here at the, uh, at the hay barn. And we're going to put a few bales out, like I said, for these cows. I'm glad you checked us out today, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.